The presidential inaugural ball has been a tradition since James Madison was sworn in in 1809. And now, if you don't mind, I would like to ask my wife, Laura, to join me in our first inaugural dance in the year 2000. 200 years later, presidents are still taking to the dance floor. Though today's balls have become so numerous, the first couple only has time for a quick spin on stage before they're off to the next event. In 1997, the Clintons danced to Unforgettable at 14 different balls. In 2001, President Bush and the First Lady attended eight balls. Well, I tell a lot of my students that 50% of dancing is just looking the part. So if you walk out and you have great posture and you smile and you move in a confident way, people will believe that you know what you're doing even if you don't. With President-elect Obama's performance on the Ellen DeGeneres show, expectations are high for his inauguration night rug cutting. He was good because he was confident. He was confident, he didn't have any inhibitions, and I think that's what makes someone a good dancer. When someone dances, I would call it freestyle, well, um, when they go out onto the dance floor and embrace their partner, they translate that same confidence, whether they're doing a ballroom dance, a partner dance, or a freestyle. The Obamas are expected to attend at least 10 inaugural balls on January 20th. Jackie Beshera, The Associated Press.